Good morning, Dan, and a happy 29th birthday. This is your dad communicating to you through the great um, thing called YouTube, which you're familiar with because you're going to be getting a job there. On my second set of videos today, I want to instruct you on another important thing you as a man need to know how to do besides changing the oil in your motorcycle. The second thing you must know is how to clean the grill so you can cook your beef tenderloin, all right? So, step one, find the grill. This is our grill. Now I have turned it on and I have placed aluminum foil in the grill to heat it up to cook all the yucky stuff off. You know, the stuff that dad leaves on and doesn't clean afterwards. And that's the first step. Never clean your grill right after you have enough, you have a, you have cooked something because why? Because you have a party to attend to and to be kind to other people. And if you're out cleaning your grill while people are inside waiting for the food, it's not a good thing to be as a host. So we wait until the next time, which we have, and we've heated the grill up. See how hot it is? I mean, you can kind of see the flames almost. We put the aluminum foil over. Now the thing that I forgot to tell you is how to light the grill. And I won't tell you how to do this because there's a set of buttons over here. See, it shows you how to light it. Usually you just have to hit this button. See this? It's called the lightning button. It's got a lightning rod on it. See it? Well, my lightning rod button hasn't worked for four years. So what I do, I do the next best thing. I get a match and I just turn the gas on and I poke it in this hole. That's the hole they make when you stop using the electric thing over here called the lightning button. And you hope when you put the match in that it goes off. In my case now, it doesn't go off all the time because, because there's crud blocking the holes of where the gas comes out. And so what I have to do is I have to wait for the gas to build up. And then sometimes I have to throw the match, not in this hole, but I have to throw it over and into this, stand back and let it go poof and that lights the grill. So anyway, so back to cleaning the grill. I want to show you how to clean it. Now to notice the strokes you use after you've taken the aluminum foil off. They're always strokes away from you. If they come to you, you can get the stuff on your legs and it'll burn your legs. And that's not good. I have some scars and I learned through time not to do that. I think early man did the same thing because simply put, it's not a good thing. Always stroke away from you. So now, so you, you clean it off. Don't be afraid here. You're a Mundell. You clean it off. And now, look at this. You don't have to clean your grill, like everyone says. You just burn it off. This is where, this is where high intelligent beings know how to deal with a grill. So, so we're ready to grill. The next step is to go out and either kill a cow or buy a beef tenderloin from your grocery. That will be in the next video. Dan, have a happy birthday.